And then, like, that was followed the next night with Raw. You guys watch Raw? I watch Raw every week. It actually was not, like, a horrible Raw, but if ever there was a Raw that was, like, there, well, that was this show. We had Jimmy Smith debuting, and he was better than Adnan Verk. That's all I can say. If your bar is set so low that you thought he was great, like, that's good for him. It's good for you, too. But he was better than Adnan Verk. That's the best that I can say. He's got a ways to go. They brought the Miz back. It was horrible. Blah, blah, blah. And this led to a two-minute time limit challenge with Charlotte versus Nikki. Nikki runs away for two minutes and wins, which means Charlotte has lost. Rhea has lost. Nikki has won two times by running away. Now the two losers will wrestle for the title, and the person that ran away is the number one contender. Then we had Randy Orton defeating Xavier Woods when he used the bro Derek, which of course Riddle was so happy about. Reginald beat Shayna Baszler when voodoo occurred, and fire came out of the poles, and Shayna was distracted, and uh, Reginald ended up rolling her up and pinning her, which led to a segment later on. We had a bunch of interviews for the main event tonight, which is a rematch of Drew versus Kofi Kingston with the heels uh, banned from ringside. Mason T-Bar beat the Luch House Party, was just there. They had Sheamus challenge both Ricochet and Umberto Carrillo back-to-back because they had humiliated him last week. And Ricochet beats him in a minute with a distraction roll-up. And then Umberto beats him with, you guessed it, a distraction roll-up after breaking his nose with a forearm. Sheamus bleeding all over his white body. Ah! And, of course, I guess that's going to lead to a three-way or whatever. Mandy and Dana beat Naomi and Lana. It was, God bless them. It was horrible. It's just four people out there trying to do gymnastics on a wrestling show. None of it's good. I mean, I said it last night. I was a wrestler and a gymnast, and I was insulted by this match. So it was not good. We had Cedric beating Shelton. Same exact match, same exact finish. At least this week, it was 28 seconds. So that was good. AJ and Omos beat Elias and Jackson Riker when Elias walked out on new babyface Jackson Riker. I don't think I need to say anything more about that. Alexa's playground with Reginald. Shayna shows up and beats up Reginald. Next week, she sits down to chat with Alexa and says, we need to have a chat next week. I guess she's going to write it down or something. I don't know. But yes, she doesn't like Lily. Shayna is feuding with a doll and Alexa Bliss. And finally, main event, Drew McIntyre defeated Kofi Kingston. They had a great match because it's Drew McIntyre, and Kofi's great as well. But, I mean, Drew is determined, no matter how horrible the show is, he's going to go out there and he's going to try and save the show. And they worked so hard, and they had a really good match, and Drew beat him clean in the middle of the ring. There was no interference. There was no distraction. And so it'll be Drew McIntyre versus Lashley at Hell in a Cell for the WWE title. So it was there. Show's not going to do very well, but what can you do? If a Zoom meeting is three hours, the Zoom meeting would have only been two hours, except there's about an hour of people going, your mic's not on, Frank. There's like hours of this. Frank, your mic's not on. There was a day where if you would have said, Brian, you and John Moxley have a lot in common, I would have said, no, we have nothing in common. We don't have one thing in common. Well, here it is in 2021, and he's about to have a beautiful baby daughter on my birthday, in fact. Mm. He is also an author. We're both grapplers. And he hates Zoom. I mean, I have more in common with him than most people. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.